Hey, welcome to my channel researchers. In today's video, we are going to discuss about what is the meaning of research design, right? And different types of research designs along with the examples. So broadly speaking, we have two types of research designs. First is the quantitative research design and another one is the qualitative research design. We are going to understand all these in detail along with the examples so try to stay tuned till last right okay firstly we need to understand the meaning of research design like what is the meaning of research design so in simple words i can say that research design is a plan or a framework to conduct a research right now how come it is a plan or a framework that means from the very beginning, from the beginning till the end, whatever you do during your research is your research design. So what all can be included in this? Like research questions. Firstly, you frame the research questions and then what do you do? You make the details of how you will collect the data. Collection of data, right? And at the end is your analysis and interpretation of data. Right? So all these steps that are being included in your research from very beginning till the end. That means till the findings and interpretation is your research design. So I can say that it involves outlining the overall approach and methods that will be used to collect the data and analyze the data in order to answer the research questions or test the hypothesis. Right? I hope the meaning of research design is clear to you guys. Right. Now, let's move forward. Now, broadly, we have two types of research designs. Right? Firstly, one is the quantitative research design and another one is the qualitative. Now, as the meaning suggests itself, what is quantitative? That can be defined in number. Right? And what is the qualitative? That cannot be defined in number. Right? So, we have two types of research design. First is the quantitative and another one is the qualitative. We are going to discuss all these research designs one by one right so as we were already discussing what is the quantitative research design it is what this is objective in nature okay and statistical tools can be applied now what do you mean by objective if i ask you to collect the data say age of class one students right now this is objective why is it objective? Because if I'm going to ask you to collect the data, you're going to give me the same type of data, right? And if I ask somebody else, say a person, he is also going to give me the same data. This is objectivity. That means the data will not change, right? However, in qualitative data or the qualitative research, the data type is what? This is subjective. Now, what do you mean by subjective? If I ask you to collect the data, say, the beliefs or philosophies of the students, right? Beliefs and philosophies. Now, if you're going to collect it, it will vary from person to person who has collected the data. Why? Because he might ask certain questions that you might not ask. So, this will vary from person to person, that means the researcher, whatever he is conducting the research, it is going to vary. Right? Another kind of difference can be, we can apply the statistical tools and we can come to one conclusion in quantitative research. Right? In qualitative, what do we do? We ask open-ended questions. We collect data through interviews, observations and we describe it in the words. Right? I hope this is clear to you guys. Okay, now coming to the very first type of quantitative research design that is descriptive research design. Now, this is a very basic. 
this is a very basic type of research design over here what happens is that no hypothesis is needed you have to simply go and you have to define the features of your variable right features of your variable you have to define and there's no need for any hypothesis now what happens is uh, let's take an example right uh, a study is there in which you have to measure different income level of people who use nutritional supplements regularly right income levels you have to measure say income level could be below we have categories say below 10,000 then another category could be 10,000 to 20,000 another category could be 20,000 to 30,000 and 30,000 and above right so these are the various categories we have defined we have already defined and we are going to go to our uh, respondents and we are going to ask about the diff their income levels right so what is happening over here is we are just defining our variable of the respondents we are defining the income level that is one of our variable we are defining it right now once we collect such type of data that can be used or that can be presented in terms of frequencies right i can say that my 100 respondents fall in this category number one that is below 10,000. okay in next category we have say 45 respondents and in the third category we have 70 respondents and in the fourth category we have 200 respondents so i can make the frequencies right another way is that i can make the trends i can draw the bar graphs and so on and so forth you can present this data differently clear okay let's move further we have next is the correlation research design usually in say social sciences we use uh, correlation research design right over here what happens is we try to explore the relationship between two or more variables right so how do we measure the uh, this uh, relationship we have correlation right we have two types of correlation one is positive and one is negative correlation now if i say if i say we have three categories right i hope you know about the correlation but let me give you a brief about it now if i say there are two variables right they have no relationship then my correlationship uh, correlation will be zero and as and on i move forward from zero to one their correlation is increasing that means if i increase one variable my another variable will also increase simultaneously this is the meaning of correlation positive correlation right and in negative if i say one variable is increasing another one is simultaneously decreasing this is the meaning of negative correlation right so if i say about the example we i have taken an example that the study is to uh, conduct the correlation between time spent watching crime shows and aggressive behavior in teenagers okay fine next type of research design is experimental research design now this is a very complex and versatile type of research design why because it measures how different factors affect a situation okay on different types of variables in this we take everything from hypothesis to independent variable to dependent and control variable also now let's understand this with the help of an example uh, in my study in my thesis what i did i took an independent variable that is financial literacy okay and i have measured its impact on the dependent variable that is performance now over here we have two variables one is independent variable and another one is a dependent variable i can also add further variables say i can say that 
financial excess those who have financial excess and financial literacy have better performance right or i can say that financial literacy leads to better financial excess that leads to the better performance now what is the financial excess over here this is your this might be your mediating variable or moderating variable right so we can keep on adding various types of variables in experimental research design i hope this is clear one thing second thing we have talked about over here is the hypothesis we make different types of hypothesis in the experimental research design for example one of my hypothesis was that there is no relationship between financial literacy and performance so this is my hypothesis right so this is a very wide kind of a research design whenever you are conducting any of your research i hope this is clear to you okay now next type is the explanatory research design now over here what happens is that you use different ideas and thoughts on certain area so as to explore more theories in depth in that very area right now what happens over here is that i have taken an example say we are formulating hypothesis to guide the future studies on delaying school start times for better men, uh, for better mental health in the teenagers right clear now this type of research it also increases the current understanding of unexplored aspects of any subject thus it is the starting point for the future research right okay so next type of research design is the causal research design in this what do we do we try to find out the reasons we try to find out the reasons for certain cause all right so example over here can be comparing school dropout level and possible bullying events right there is a relationship and what is the cause we try to explore these cause in the causal research design so basically what we are doing is that we are finding the cause and effect in the data set right next type of research design is the diagnostic research design in diagnostic research design what do we do we simply find out the solutions to the problem this is the meaning of diagnostic right we try to find out the solutions for the problem example over here could be now we are trying to analyze customer feedback and reviews to identify is area where an application can be improved right simple now next type of research design is the cross sectional research design over here what happens is that researcher collects the data at one particular point of time right for example i am conducting a research and i am going to collect my data in the year 2023 right at a particular point of time this is the cross sectional research design and in opposite to this we have the longitudinal research design in this research design we as a researcher try to collect the data over different period of time say today i have collected my data right and after say one month or two months i'm going to collect the data from same sample example could be that i am collecting data today of the respondents and after giving them certain training we are going to collect the data again and we are going to compare this this is the longitudinal research design clear now the last type of uh, research design is the mixed method research design over here we try to use one or more type of research methods or the research designs in one research 
and further we can also include both the qualitative as well as the quantitative research methods that means we are combining more than one research design in our research so this is the mixed method research design i hope this is clear to you guys okay so about the qualitative research design we are going to study those in the next video so if you guys have any problem or any questions regarding this you can comment in the comment section and i will surely reply to you guys thank you and have a nice day